Hello everybody, welcome back to another video of Pokemon Brick Bronze. If you're new here, please consider leaving a like and a sub down below. And also leave a comment down below if you want to be shouted out in the next video. But today's shout out goes out to Zalapi. Thank you so much for supporting the videos, dude. If you want to be shouted out in the next video, like I said, just leave a comment down below. This comment was from episode 7, because episode 8, 9, and 10 are not out yet, because they are scheduled to come out. So yeah, so if you feel like I missed you, my bad. But this is episode 11, last episode. We traversed up Kragano's mine, and now we're at the Sky Ship. So we're going to continue with that. i also like to give a shout out to Pepe. Uh, he's one of the viewers. Let's see. He helped me evolve my Gengar. Then he also gave me a Pokemon to uh to use for fighting. But I'm not gonna use him until I finish the story mode because I don't want to like cheat in any way. So we got our Gengar finally. Then we got a, another new addition, our Larvitar. We switched him out for Toxel. I just want my dream team. So we're two out of six Pokemon in our dream team. So we got Sceptile and Larvitar. We just got four more we had to find. As you see that on screen, those are the other Pokemon we had to find for our team. But yeah, let's continue with this video. Let's go meet up with Jake and Tess. See what they gotta say. Awesome, looks like we're all here. Let's board the airship already why the puzzle look hot dog you do know where athena city is right so let's say no seriously it's the huge city floating above the center of aurora we heard stories about it all our lives it's an outstanding a demonstration of where science has gotten us today the whole city is supported by a power core that never runs dry it's incredible there's a gym there too the flying gym that's what i heard but the first thing we all need to do is go speak with my father's old friend his name is gerald he's the only person aside from my grandfather that i know that also knew my parents i haven't seen him for a while but i know he works at the pokemon shop in Athena City shopping district. Once we arrive in Athena City, we will need to go see him as soon as possible. He knows and talks with a lot of people from all over Aurora. If anyone could tell us anything about Team Eclipse and your parents, he can. Yeah, that's a really good idea. If Gerald could give us any information at all, we'll be that much closer to saving your parents, hot dog. Exactly. So let's not waste any more time. All right, pilot, we're ready to go. All aboard. On to a new city. After all that adventuring, day in and day out. Here we are. We finally made it. Athian City. What a beautiful place. Where should we go first? Well, Athian City is divided into four districts. We are currently in the housing district. This is where all the locals live. There are even several places where traders like us can rent apartments. With lots of great art and history. The shopping district is where you can do a lot of shopping for Pokemon balls, clothes, and other items. In the shopping district, you can reach the battle district and park district. At first, we need to head over to the shopping district. Gerald, my father's friend, works there with his wife. All right. What are we waiting for? Let's go talk to him. Okay, the music's back. I was gonna be so sad that I have to edit the music in myself. Wait, 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 you guys are fast as hell. Chill out. I'm coming, I'm coming. Ooh, look at this RCS right there. What's that? Ethian City Shopping District. Okay. Oh, what's down there? There they are. What's up, Jake and Tess? Welcome to the shopping district, hi dog. The Pokemon shop is just ahead. Let's go now. Okay, it's walking for me. That's good. A little scenery. Imagine if this game was still up, they could have made so much good stuff. The Roblox engine's better. Oh, but Gerald, is that you? Well, my goodness, is that you, Tess? Bye bye. You're quite a lot older than the last time I saw you. It's been five or six years at least. How's that grandfather of yours? It's been ten actually. A grandfather is as old and obnoxious as always. That sounds like him, alright. So what brings you kids all the way out here to the great city in the sky? So wait, this is in the sky? Yeah, but I forget quick. Gerald, I remember my father talking about traveling with you all over Aurora. Oh yes, your father and I are very well for our adventures and findings all throughout this region. There's hardly a rock in Aurora that we have not left our turn throughout the course of our expeditions. I was so hurt when I found out about your mother and father's disappearance. I've hardly left the city, but a handful of times since that time. You know, I was a part of the first search party to go looking for your parents. After a week searching some of the places your father and I traveled, I could not think where else to look for them. I'm so sorry that they were not around to see you grow up. To become a capable young person you are now. It's alright, Gerald. I'm actually not here to talk about my parents, though. Oh, well then. How can I help you? These are my friends, Jake and Hot dog. You see, not too long ago, a ruthless gang of evil people named Team Eclipse hit out Hot Dog's parents. Hot Dog and Jake have been tracking them down until they wound up in Rose Cove where Grandpa and I were attacked by Team Eclipse. Thanks to Hot Dog and Jake, thanks to me, not Jake, he fought one dude. Thanks to Hot Dog and Jake, Grandpa and I were saved. Unfortunately, we were not able to get any information out of Hot Dog's parents. We decided to set out and look for them together. I thought we could try asking if he knew anything that might help us find Hot Dog's parents or track down Team Eclipse. Yes, I'm well acquainted with the name Team Eclipse. Those goons have raided our city before. Anthony and City has since banned them and anyone suspected to be associated with them. I'm curious though, Hot Dog. What do they want your parents for? The Professor Cypress from Midstown believes it may have something to do with the fact that they are archaeologists and know a lot about the history of Aurora. Oh wow, your parents are the world famous archaeologists from 
this town? You know, you know, something slight. I've run into them on several of my own adventures. They are some of the greatest people I've ever met in my journey. They should do know awful lot about the history and legends of Aurora. That worries me though, knowing that Team Eclipse wants them. When Team Eclipse was here, they made an attempt to steal an artifact from the museum. Thankfully, our local police were able to stop them in time. The item that they were after is known as the prison model. Your parents were actually the ones that discovered it in a cavern off the main shores of Aurora. There's a legend that says that it contains the true power of a, a Pokemon that lies dormant. So we're deep within the caves of Crescent Island. Nobody has been able to prove that these legends are true. Nobody has proven them false either. Crescent Island is just off the eastern coast of Aurora, isn't it? Correct. Many times, adventurers like Tess's father and I would go cave diving in Crescent Island. I've never seen anything more interesting than a set of rocks in those caves. Anyone that has gone down into those caves looking for artifacts has returned empty-handed, with the exception of your parents, Hada. I don't know what the prison bottle really is for. It's best to stay in the museum, out of the reach of Team Eclipse. So Team Eclipse was here and tried stealing the artifact? That's interesting. I wonder if they were after it because of your parents. You know, since your parents were the ones who found it, I can't imagine why else they would be after it. Drilled. Is there anything else you can tell us about Team Eclipse? Anything that can help us find them? Unfortunately, that's all I know about them. They usually only service when they're after something. They were yelling something about a new world when they were here. Our police managed to capture one of them. He interrogated the man. A new world would save mankind. If you ask me, it just sounds like a bunch of crazy people decided to make a gang and harass innocent people of our city. If I were you kids, I wouldn't go missing with them. They are nothing but trouble. I will let the police of Aurora take care of it. I'm afraid I can't stand back and wait. When our parents disappeared, it took a whole bunch to get a search team together. I can't let that happen to hot dogs too. I'm going to do whatever it takes to help save Hardog's parents from Team Eclipse. You're just like your father, you know. Brave and adventurous. All right, I'll start doing some quick research and see what else I can find on Team Eclipse. I know a few people from places around Aurora that might know a thing or two more than I do. Great, that would be so helpful. Hold on, we are going to stop Team Eclipse and get your parents back. I just know it. This may take some time. If you kids want to explore the city while I make a few calls, I will come find you when I'm done. I think I'll wait here with you, Gerald. I want to know as soon as you find any information. Oh yeah, I want to stay here with Tessa and help her find Gerald. Bro, you're sticking to her like glue, man. Hop off. Hold on, you collect gym badges, right? There's a Pokemon gym here in Athenia City in the Battle District. If you want to go challenge while we wait, that would be a good use of your time. It wouldn't hurt to trade up your Pokemon too, in case we run into more Team Eclipse that want to battle. I'll come find you myself if anything comes up. Just don't get lost. All right, I won't get lost. What is this now? Okay, we can buy stuff from here. So we still have thirty-one thousand dollars. A Master Ball for fifty Robux. Ah, ten Master Balls for four hundred. So is there no other way you can get Master Balls besides buying them with the Robux? Let me know in the comments if you guys know. A Draco Ball. Let's go through all the Pokeballs. Even the ones we know. So a regular Pokeball is 200 bucks. A device for catching wild Pokemon. It's thrown like a ball at Pokemon. Comfortably encapsulating its target. A okay, Great Ball, $600. A good high performance Pokeball that provides a higher Pokemon catch rate than a standard Pokeball can. Okay. Ultra Ball, $1,200. An ultra high performance Pokeball that provides a higher success rate for catching Pokemon than a Great Ball. Master Ball. The best Pokeball with the ultimate level of performance. With it, you will catch any wild Pokemon without fail. Okay. A netball, a somewhat different Pokemon that is more effective when attempting to catch water or bug type Pokemon. And that's a thousand dollars. A luxury ball, a thousand dollars. A particularly comfortable Pokemon that makes a wild Pokemon quickly go friendlier after it's caught. A quick ball, a somewhat different Pokemon that has more of a success catch rate if used at the start of a wild encounter. Okay. Dusk ball, a thousand dollars. A somewhat different Pokemon that makes it easier to catch wild Pokemon at night or in dark places like caves. A fist ball, I've never actually seen a fist ball. Two thousand dollars. A somewhat different Pokemon that is more effective when attempting to catch fighting type Pokemon. A flame ball, I've never seen a flame ball as well. $2,000, a somewhat different Pokemon that's more effective when attempting to catch fire type Pokemon. I might have seen a Draco ball before. $2,000 though, a somewhat different Pokemon that's more effective when attempting to catch dragon type Pokemon. We are gonna buy though some more great balls. Oh, we're gonna buy some more ultra balls of it. Oh, there you go, let's just buy 10. I think we're at 19 though, I'm pretty sure. That's good. All right, we're going to explore a little bit. We went into the stone shop. See what this is about. Welcome to the stone shop. How about I help you? We could buy something. What can we buy? A fire gem. What do these do? A gem with essence of fire. It strengthens the power of a fire type move one time. Oh, Mega Evolution stones. They're expensive. Where's the Sceptile Mega Evolution? Like the Tyranitar? This Garchomp? Where's Sceptile? Sceptile, Sceptile. Where are you, buddy? They got no Sceptile? Yeah, I can't find... Sceptile's big evolution stone. I'm not sure if I'm blind or something. Oh, they got Metagross. Oh, yeah, that's good. So we know where to get some mega evolution stones. That's a lot of money though. Al Ludicolo Loco. Let's go see what this is about. A food shop. Got any food for us? Welcome to Al Ludico Loco. We're not taking any more guests at the moment. Please check in another time. Oh, that's unlucky. Maybe there's like a Pokeball we can find. Can't see, you can't see. 
Yeah, this is the fun. Let's just leave. That was the store we came through. The battle district is over there. Let's go over here. Go see what this uh, guy's doing in the corner. You want to fight? Oh, he does it. Hey, uh, nothing to see here. Seriously, nothing. Okay. Hey, ticket of hardware. I think I saw this in like one of the teasers in their Discord server. Welcome to the future of Home Zombies Hardware. We're not open for business at the moment. We're still fishing up some preparations. Please come back soon. Okay. I'm pretty sure there's a place where you get like a hoverboard. Does it cost money though? We're gonna leave the sushi place. We're gonna find the heart hoverboard place. See what this guy's doing over here. Hello there, young trainer. You wouldn't happen to be interested in collecting rare Pokemon, would you? Nah, I'm sure that's not your sort of thing. You see, I have this Pokemon that's not particularly rare species. Interesting, however, he has a rare ability. His ability allows you to bond with powerful trainers and become stronger. And his appearance changes notably when he knocks an opponent's Pokemon. It's incredibly cool. But well, you don't seem particularly interested in this Pokemon. I suppose I can make it worth your time. I'll turn him over to you for a mere 150 Robux. Oh, and you have to save after you complete the deal. So what do you say? I don't. I got one Robux in my account. I don't got money. Oh, right here, right here. Hoverboards. Let's just see what this is. Hopefully it's not Robux. Please don't be Robux. Most likely is. Welcome to Heroes Hoverboards. What can I do for you? Free hoverboards? It's a basic collection. You may take one at a time for free. Okay. Click on which one do you like. We're going to go with the red one. Oh, the basic red board. Would you like to take this one with you? Yes. Thanks for stopping by. Peace. So how long can we use it? Every time we re-log or something? Make sure to save though real quick. Let's try our new hoverboard. I have no idea how to use a hoverboard. I'm just gonna press keys on my keyboard. And hopefully it works. Oh, R. I think it was R. Let me try again. Or is it E? Okay, it's R. Look at us. Yes, sir. Look at it. We glided. Yeah, I was a scared back in my prime. You know, look at me. I'm standing so beautifully. All right, guys, this is the end of episode 11 of Pokemon Brick Bronze. We made it to Athenian City. We explored a little. We uh, we found Tessa's grandfather's friend, Gerald. He's going to help us get some information about our parents, which is good. And we got this brand new hoverboard, as you see. We're looking pretty clean, if I say so myself. But next episode, as you see right here, the Battle District. We're going to go battle the gym next episode. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like and a comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.